folks, Scott here with the My Monthly Hero November 2020 card kit. This month is inspired by Lino Cut Art, which I remember from high school art class when we did carved our linoleum blocks with our little gouges and chisels and made our own little stamps back in high school. So this is very reminiscent of the old wood block art. I really like these. This is our six by eight inch stamp set. We've got two large backgrounds and we've got a bird and an owl and a house and a tree and a snowman, some smaller images, some holly and berries. There's a branch and a poinsettia, a little leafy border here, a couple of snowflakes. We've We've got a number of sentiments here. I'll be thinking of you. There's a good pun. Sending warm wishes, love, Merry Christmas, Happy Holidays, Peace on Earth, Winter Wishes, Peace, Joy, Let It Snow. We've also got a little ampersand over here and so we could do peace and joy. I think these berries could also be used as snowballs with that snowman. We also get dyes this month and some unique dyes. We get five coordinating frame cuts. So these are our frame cuts. And then we get these matching mask die cuts. These will actually cut these images from the stamp set right to the line. No border left behind whatsoever. So of course these make perfect masking templates for double stamping. In fact, on the back of our card sheet here, it talks about the masking dies. To stamp a background behind the images, simply stamp that foreground image, die cut a mask, cover the foreground image with mask, and stamp your background on top of it. I think we'll do exactly that this month. <laughs> These are new for Hero Arts. I love dies that actually cut right up to the edge of a stamp. I just think that is absolutely terrific. We do get some extras in our kit this month, including this great ombre stamp set. This is the Winter Sky stamp set. Now this is actually Splash, Thistle, and Blue Hawaii reactive inks from the Hero Art line. A really nice ombre ink pad with reactive inks. I really like the Hero Arts ombre ink pads. They'll work great for these background stamps. We also get a little package of forest sequins, winter forest sequins. Looks like they're little trees and little snowflakes. I don't know if I will be anal enough to go in there and separate all the trees out from the snowflakes or not, but this is a nice little sequin pack. And we also get a roll of washi tape that kind of mimics that one border stamp in our stamp set over here. Very similar. It's in red, washi tape. Those are our extras this month. A lino cut art is what we're playing with this month. Perfect for the holiday, perfect for all season long. I'm looking forward to playing with these masking die cuts. Yes, the weather outside is frightening, but we can stay indoors and make some great holiday and winter cards. And here's my 10 cards using this kit. We've got another slimline card. I've been making a lot of those lately. And oh, what's that? A pink card base. <laughs> now I decided to dive right in and start layering things up with this stamp set since it appears to be what it is asking us to do. So my first card on a white card base, of course, is Let It Snow with that great snowman on that wintry background, a lot of those snowflakes floating across that. I am totally digging on this stamp and die set. So I stamped our snowman using Hero Arts Intense Black Ink and I cut a mask for him out of some Inka Dinka Doo masking paper. It fits right over the image just like that. Those masking dies are just a little bit of genius, I think. I actually die cut masks for all of the images in our stamp set first thing. <laughs> I masked off our snowman and then stamped that rectangular background over the top of that. I did use our ombre stamp pad, that winter sky stamp pad, but I stamped it two or three times and I think I shimmied too much up and down and started to lose the little thistle color there in the middle. 
stamp and learn. <laughs> Once I stamped the background enough, I added some color to our snowman with some colored pencils. I stamped our extra snowflake stamps on the side here using the Splash Reactive ink and then added some of our little snowflake sequins from our Winter Forest sequin mix. I stamped the sentiment using Blue Hawaii Reactive ink and embossed that with some clear embossing powder. So that has a little bit of shine to it there too. And I also stamped those snowballs and die cut them and glue them onto the front here. Looks like he might not be quite so innocent after all. <laughs> Let it snow. I love these lino cut art stamps. So if they work so well with the backgrounds, how will they work without a background? My second card on a white card base is Love and Joy. Look at that with our little bird stamp and branch stamp. Now that looks like a woodblock print to me. Just totally looks like a woodblock print to me. Love and joy come to you and a Merry Christmas too. I love this. I stamped the bird stamp using Cup of Joe Hero Arts ink and then I masked him off and stamped the branch using Moss Hero Arts ink. Removed the mask and there he is standing on his branch plain as day. I stamped Love and Joy again in the Cup of Joe ink and then added a few little heart sequins from my stash. I added a little pop of color, a little touch of shine there. Love and joy come to you. I just adore this. I think it looks like a woodcut art print. Okay, let's look at that round background. On my third card, we've got the I'll be thinking of you pun with our fun owl and that background. <laughs> These are just kind of amazing. I stamped the owl in Cup of Joe ink, masked him off. Then I stamped the branch in moss ink and masked that off also. And then I stamped the background on top of that. Now I got some better thistle in the middle because I didn't shimmy back and forth quite so much on this stamp. But I got it all stamped very nicely. I found a Hero Arts nesting circle die that was really close in size. So I embossed that on the front to give this card a little texture and a little bit of a frame around that circular image. After everything had dried, I thought that the branch was not standing out very much. It was kind of getting lost in and amongst this background. So I stamped and die cut a new branch. I stamped that with moss and added some brown to the branch with the Tombow marker and then glued that on top. I did find that using the negative space from the die cuts is the perfect way to stamp these stamps if you're going to die cut them out. So this is all of our masking stamps die cut. This is 110 pound cardstock and the stamp will kind of fit right into the die cut space. I tell you, they practically snap right in and then you can pick that up with your lid then place your die cut piece back in the negative space. You've already cut this out, or maybe this is the same piece that you cut from this to begin with. Fit it in there like a puzzle piece. Ink up your stamp. And then stamp on your already die cut piece. And it comes out perfectly. <laughs> you can mass produce these stamps like this. Just bang, 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 bang them out if you wanted to do a big mass production of Christmas cards or something. I found this the easiest way to stamp and die cut all of these images. So that's how I stamped and die cut our branch here. I think it stands out much better being a die cut piece glued on top. No foam or anything, just a little extra layer there. I'll be thinking of you. Great little pun. Now, I'm not sure what inspired this card for me, but I do know that I started out stamping that house stamp right in the middle of my card, and I felt it was lonely. 
So we have a sending warm wishes card. <laughs> it did. It started with this house in the center. I stamped in Cup of Joe. I thought it needed some friends. These are stamped in multiple layers of sandstone ink. I added some color to these with my colored pencils. I was struck by the matching qualities of our washi tape and that border stamp. So I stamped the border stamp above and below the houses, pointing in different directions, stamped that with the moss ink, and then added washi tape going in the same directions on the top and bottom of those. I really like those borders going in the two directions. I think it really pulls your focus right down to the center, sending warm wishes. This makes my heart very happy and makes this a warm and fuzzy card. <laughs> I still have that Christmas tree stamp to use, so it seems like it's begging to go on that hill in the sky there. So for my fifth card, this is our Merry Christmas card with that great Christmas tree. Look at the shine on that. I really like this one. <laughs> I stamped the Christmas tree in just moss ink to begin with, and I put a mask over that, and I left the stamp in my Misty so I could stamp this again. I then stamped the background. This time I used my regular ink pads of Blue Hawaii Thistle and Splash. I just used my ink pads and inked that up with my ink pads so I would be sure not to lose that center thistle area. I really like this ombre blend. Very winter sky, as they call it. <laughs> Once I got the background stamped, I removed the mask and then stamped the tree again using some forest moss distress oxide ink, and I embossed that with some clear embossing powder. That made that really nice and dark Nice and shiny. I really love that tree. I stamped the Merry Christmas with the embossing and watermark ink from Hero Arts and embossed that with Hero Arts red embossing powder for some more shine. I added all our little red ornaments with a gel pen colored in the star with a gel pen. Merry Christmas. A very cheerful very shiny. I think this stamp set is really playing into my artistic sensibilities. You know how much I love my little vignettes. <laughs> we have a few smaller image stamps in our set I haven't gotten to yet. So for card number six, we've got peace and joy and a pink wreath. <laughs> Look at that pink wreath coming from Scott. Can you believe it? Oh my goodness. <laughs> On a piece of white cardstock, I took our little poinsettia stamp and using my homemade wreath builder template, I stamped our poinsettias into a wreath here using the Hero Arts Rose Matter ink. Now it's stamped redder than this, but I liked it kind of more when it dried down a bit. I really love the places where the poinsettia overlapped and gave me that really dark, dark pink. I know you wouldn't think I really love that. I couldn't restamp it after it all came together, I tell you. I die cut that panel with a Lawn Fawn stitched rectangle die. I stamped the piece and joy with the embossing ink and embossed that with some Hero Arts red embossing powder. I glued that panel down to a thin dark red mat and then down to our white card base. This is actually a top folding one. Oh, look at that. Winter Wishes inside. I added the Winter Wishes sentiment using intense black ink on the inside of this card. Peace and joy. I stamped our holly leaves two times using the moss ink, and I stamped our little snowball slash berry stamp using intense black ink. I die cut both of those. I colored the berries using my Spectrum Noir markers, and I trimmed off one of the extra holly leaves, assembled these together, and attached them to the bottom of our wreath here with some foam tape. I actually found some clear sequins in my stash that fit on top of these berries just perfectly. I really love that. And they're clear, so the berries show nice and red right through there. I also, of course, took my Sakura Stardust gel pen and filled in the center of all our poinsettias around there with some glitter. Peace and joy winter wishes. I think those are nice winter wishes. And what do you know, a pink wreath. <laughs> now 
Now there's another sentiment in our stamp set that kind of threw me for a loop because I didn't think there was any images in our stamp set that really illustrated that sentiment. Maybe the bird, but it's not really a dove. This is what I came up. Card number seven on a white card base, we've got Peace on Earth. There you go. Peace on Earth. <laughs> I thought the only thing in this stamp set that came anywhere close to illustrating this sentiment, I really like that sentiment, I love that font, but I thought the only thing that was really close enough to illustrate that sentiment with this kit was this background stamp that you could take the hillside as an earth. Well, now I dug out my, this is a From the Vault Earth Hero Art stamp. This was a Christmas present last year, I think. Love this stamp, but it's a little too small for that opening in the stamp. So I dug around in my stash and found this little Earth clip art. I sized that little earth to size and then created a little template, just stamped the bottom part of that stamp and cut out the inner earth part. So I could use that as a template. I printed the earth, put the template on top until the earth filled in the sides, and I just drew the bottom part of the template, cut that out, and then let the top curve of the earth finish the top curve on the card. I didn't have to match that top curve there. You can see it doesn't quite match. I think the earth's a little taller than this curve, but that's how I did that. I will keep this little mask on hand. There's no telling what you can put in that little snowbank. <laughs> so I stamped our background using intense black ink, blue Hawaii ink, and splash ink. I printed our little earth just on some printer paper, so it's nice and thin. I cut that out and glued that in place there. I stamped the sentiment with embossing ink and embossed that with Hero Arts silver embossing powder. Nice shine there. I turned to my silhouette and I created this peace sign on my silhouette many years ago. And I sized this up a little bit and cut it out from this chrome cardstock that we got back in October of 2019, chrome cardstock. Love that, it almost looks like a piece of jewelry. I did cut that out of three more layers of white cardstock and glued those all together for a nice chunky piece sign. Glued them together, glued them to the front of this card. I love this piece on earth. Yes, please. <laughs> so up to now, these have basically been one layer cards with some minor exceptions here and there. Basically one layer cards. I wanted to play with stamping and the die cuts some more because I just love those die cuts and how they'll cut that stamping out perfectly. On card number eight, we've got a spruce it up card featuring that great tree stamp. <laughs> spruce it up! <laughs> Using my misty and my negative die cut parts, I stamped three trees in moss, three trees in lime green, and colored all of the ornaments with my gel pens. I ink blended some splash ink on the card front just in the center and going out to white give it a nice oval blend there in the center and then I mounted all of those trees up together with foam tape. Now it's easy to divide these up into this little Gosh, it's almost a snowflake. <laughs> it's easy to do that because the trees, two trees line up together on a 60 degree angle almost perfectly. So it came together very nicely. I love the little openings right there in the center with the dark blue behind there. I printed this sentiment on a scrap of cardstock. Spruce it up. That's using the typewriter hand font. And then I die cut that out with a lawn fawn everyday messages die. Added that to our card front with some more foam tape. And then I added a nice little clear crystal star gem to the center of the trees there. That covered up the stamped star just perfectly on all of those. Gives us some nice little sparkle there. Of course, all of those gel pen ornaments have some shine to them. Spruce it up. 
Happy holidays. I thought that went well with Spruce It Up. This is stamped to get in that moss ink. Happy holidays. Spruce It Up. That covers all of the stamps in our stamp set right there. I just finished all of the stamps in our stamp set with that last sentiment there. Spruce It Up. It's a good pun too. Okay, so let's go a little far afield now, <laughs> and we've got a pink card here for you. How about a valentine made from this kit? All you need is love. All you need is love. Bum, 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 bum. All you need is love. <laughs> bum, bum, <laughs> I totally love this card. See how those owls are looking at each other? <laughs> well, I got a little obsessed <laughs> when I was playing with this stamp and wondered if that, there was a way that I could make this owl look in a different direction. <laughs> now, I actually found a little hole punch in my stash that is about 3 16 inch in diameter. And these are little masks that I punched out of my masking paper using that little 3 16 inch hole punch. And they actually cover up the pupil <laughs> on this owl kind of perfectly. It's smaller than the eyeball but a little bigger than the pupil. So I masked the pupil off on the stamp itself before I stamped it. Inked it up. This one is, of course, Cup of Joe. This one is Sandstone. Don't forget to remove the masks over the eyeballs before you stamp it. <laughs> stamp them down and your eyeballs are gone. <laughs> then I was able to just draw in the eyeballs. I tell you, I use these things all the time. These are little, these are all <laughs> disposable micro applicator brushes that I use to then color in the eyeball using the ink. You can just dab these right into the matching ink and color their eyeballs. And then I drew their eyelids back in with a brown Pigma Micron pen. And that gave me two owls looking at each other. I was so happy. <laughs> I created this sentiment on my Silhouette software. This is using the Sign Painter font. All you need is love. I printed that on a piece of white cardstock, cut that down to four inches by five and a quarter, glued that down to a pink card base. I die cut this heart using one of the Hero Arts nesting hearts dies and a piece of watercolor-ish pattern paper from my stash. Glued that down to the card front. I stamped the branch using moss ink on a piece of a Kiwi Hero Hughes cardstock, then co colored in the branch part with a Tombow marker, glued that branch to the feet of my owls, glued them together, mounted all of them up on the card front with some foam tape, looking at you with a love in their eyes. All you need is love. And now who would have thought you could come up with a nice Valentine card from this kit? <laughs> So our last card, a big slimline card. I like my slimline cards, big and simple. So this is four inches by nine inches. I think that's about as big as you can get with a slimline card. But this was inspired by the fact that I was playing with some of the snowman die cuts. And I realized that when you put two snowmen next to each other, they were appeared to be holding hands. So we've got our Don We Now, our gay apparel snowman chorus line. <laughs> Don We Now, our gay apparel. <laughs> Aren't they just adorable? I love this card. I love this bag. Background. Now, I was trying to figure out, I wanted a snowy background, but all of my stencils and stamps and everything are all like the most six inches wide. So I was hoping to get something that would be nine inches wide. And I remembered I have this Infinity Snowflake stamp. This is from an old love from Lizzie Kit, November 
of 2018. This Infinity Snowflake stamp. You can stamp it next to each other, left, right, top, or bottom, and it will match up. So I remembered I had that in my stash. I grabbed that and stamped that. This is three and a half by eight and a half inch panel. So I stamped that Infinity stamp three times across the top of this using embossing ink and embossed it with some clear embossing powder. And then I ink blended on top of that using, again, our Blue Hawaii and our Splash and our Thistle. Now I moved the Thistle from between the blues to the bottom of the blues this time. I kind of like that. It looks a little bit like the sun's just starting to set or something. And then, you know, a quick towel over the top of your white embossing will wipe off any extra ink. And I totally love that background. A great snowy background. It's not too busy, but it certainly is snowing beautifully behind our chorus line of little snowmen. I used a stitched hillside die on another piece of eight and a half inch cardstock and cut our little hillside, glued that down to my stamped panel, matted those on some blue green cardstock and glued those down to our four inch by nine inch card base. I, of course, stamped all of the snowmen using intense black ink, colored those all with my alcohol markers, added a little bit of shading around their bottoms and their heads there, mounted them all to the card front with a little foam tape. Looks like they're all just about ready to take their final bow. <laughs> Don, we now are gay apparel. Fa la 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 la. <laughs> I couldn't resist. You know me, give me a musical phrase and I want to finish it out for you. <laughs> Our big chorus line of dancing snowmen, Don We Now Our Gay Apparel. This card gives me the giggles to no end. <laughs> so that's my 10 cards using the My Monthly Hero November 2020 kit. This kit did sell out almost immediately. I think everybody saw the unique qualities of this kit as quickly as I did. I hope I was able to share some unique ideas with you and maybe spark some imaginative creative things from you as well. I had so much fun with this card kit. It's really interesting because these cards really don't look like my regular lineup for the most part. I mean there's hardly any mats and layers and frames on these whatsoever. I really love these dies and stamps so much. I think they'll get a lot of use in the years to come. I love Love my little Valentine card here. I love all of these backgrounds are so much fun and who couldn't enjoy a lovely pink wreath. <laughs> and not everything is necessarily holiday or Christmas here either. Thank you so much for sharing your time with me here. I hope you enjoyed this. If you did, please give me a thumbs up. It lets YouTube know that it should share this video with other like-minded crafters. You know, I appreciate the time that you share with me here so very, very, very much. Please take care of yourselves. Take care of your loved ones. Wear your masks. Wash your hands. Avoid big crowds. We still haven't beaten this pandemic yet. I send you and your loved ones healthy and happy blessings this holiday holiday season. Please remember to like me, list me, pin me, post me, share me with all of your friends. Don't run with a cooked turkey. And as always, I wish you health and happy crafting. For more detailed information, better pictures, and product links, please visit my website at cardcutups.com. <laughs>